In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new YouTube channel if you're a beginner, from creating an account to the key channel settings that will help you grow your channel fast. First things first, congratulations, you've made the right decision to start a YouTube channel. My name is Charles, let's see the ground running. Now we are going to go to youtube.com and at the top right of the screen, we are going to click on sign in. Now it's going to take us to this part where you need to sign in with your Gmail. If you don't have a Gmail account already, just click on create account to create an account. You can create for business or personal use, but I'll suggest you create for business, okay? Because you want to treat YouTube as a business, right? So just start right, start well by creating the business email address for your YouTube channel. Click on business and then you can get an email address. But anyway, if you don't want to do this, you can go back and click on create account for personal use and just go ahead and do it. That's the most simple way to do it, all right? And then you put in your first name, set up your email account, and then once your email is set up, you're good to go. All right, we just got into YouTube and now that we have our YouTube account set up, the next step is creating your YouTube channel, which is what we are going to be doing. Automatically create the channel, but we need to set up the branding. Your channel is your brand, okay? And the first thing that you need is your channel name and your channel username. But let's start with the channel name. We are going to click on customize channel and then it's gonna take us to the YouTube studio. Click on continue and here we can customize our channel according to how we want to brand our channel. All right, so I'm going to start with the channel name because this is where the form begins. Now, to get a channel name, you can just give it any name that you want, but you have to be creative. All right, what is the vibe? What's the name that will make people go, oh, I need to check out this channel. That's what we are aiming for. If you still don't have any ideas, you can go to ChatGPT and ask it for channel ideas. For example, we are going to say, I am creating a new YouTube channel. I'll be posting folktale stories videos. Please suggest 20 unique eye-catching channel names. And you can see here that ChatGPT has given us channel names. You can see the first one, Tales of Wonder. So you can ask ChatGPT to give you channel name ideas, all right? What I like to do is think ahead and check if there are other channels, websites, TikTok, Facebook, or Instagram pages with the name I intend to use. A rule of thumb is to pick a channel name that is not in use in any social media platform. It's gonna make it easy for your audience to look for you, find you, and it's gonna make you more authentic, right? However, you don't need to stress too much about your channel name right now because you can always change it later. You can change it to something better in the future. So just pick something that feels right for you today and run with it do something and get started. And alongside your channel name, you need a channel handle. Just think of this as your YouTube username. It's like your social media handle, but for YouTube. So make it unique to you. And just like your name, this can be changed later on too. So you don't need to be focused on must use this username or must get a perfect username. No, you can always change this later. Here is where most people get a little bit confused. What's the difference between the name and the channel handle? Well, think of it like this. Your channel name is what appears on your homepage and under your video thumbnails. It's your public name, but your handle is like your username at something something, at your username that people would see or people would use to tag or find you directly. So yeah, your name might be Tales of Wonder, but then you might have a username that is at Tales of Wonder 24. You see the difference? So this here is my channel name and this is my channel handle. So we are gonna give this Tales of Wonder 24. Now here's a little advice. When choosing your channel name, keep it simple, memorable, and easy to spell. You don't want people struggling to find you just because your name is long or it's impossible to remember. So you want to keep it simple. You want something that would stick in people's mind. All right, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to this channel. There are lots of helpful videos here. Now, the next thing that you need is a profile picture. Now here's a pro tip. Make sure it's something that looks good in a round shape since that's how YouTube displays profile pictures. You don't want your logo or picture looking all squished or awkwardly or cropped or not properly, you know, uh, placed. So trust me, we have seen all those crappy <laughs> profile pictures and all that. So look for something appropriate for your channel's vibe, whether it's a cool logo or a headshot, just make it stand out. Over here, you can see the recommendation for your channel profile picture. Now, the best thing to do is to use Canva to create a YouTube profile picture. And Canva has the best template for that. So we are gonna go to Canva. You're gonna search for YouTube profile picture 
and click on it what you're going to do is to pick a template and then edit it right here you can see different templates pick anyone that suits your channel vibe and edit it and then once you've gotten your profile picture you upload it here after we've uploaded our profile picture the next thing we're going to do is to upload the banner for our channel now here you can see the requirement of the type of banner to upload now here's a quick tip keep it simple make it eye-catching your banner should instantly tell visitors hey you are in the right place or this is the kind of content that i create this kind of content that you're looking for and when it comes to design think of a color or a theme that matches the style of your channel that matches the theme of your channel and this helps build your brand identity you just want to put up different things and splash colors in different places and don't forget your banner needs to fit across all devices so make sure nothing important gets cut off on mobile i see a lot of youtube channels that you know their banners are just cut off you need to do it properly so that it will fit across all devices across mobile desktop tv and all that so just make sure that nothing important gets cut off on mobile after you've uploaded the banner all right i know youtube always shows you the banner how it looks like on desktop tv and mobile check it before you upload so many creators forget this and they end up with janky looking banner on phones which doesn't look great on the branding all right now to create the banner just go to canva and search for youtube banner so search for youtube banner on canva and then we're going to pick a template from here and customize the template to fit your channel branding change the image the icon subscribe button like whatever just change it to fit your channel so we have uploaded the banner and here's how it's going to look like on tv and here's how it's going to look like on desktop and on the mobile device on other devices it's going to look like this on your mobile phone now once we are done confirming how it all looks we click on done and voila we have our banner set so the next thing that we have to do is to add a description to our channel and this is just to tell people more about the channel if you don't know what to do like i said just go to chat gpt and ask it can you write a short youtube description about my channel tales of wonder channel focuses on telling interesting folktale stories blah 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 and then chat gpt is going to give you a good description for your channel and you can see here the description chat gpt has given what we are going to do is to copy it and then we're going to paste it here so you can edit i did this or just use it like that other thing you can add your channel uh links to your social media pages contact info you can add email address for brands to reach out to you you can also add video watermark here and it's going to show on every video that you post it's just going to show at the bottom left of every video you post now once you're done with this you click on publish and the changes will take effect after this you need to verify your youtube channel and it's not optional if you want to unlock important features that will help your channel grow fast so things like uploading videos longer than 15 minutes adding custom thumbnails and going live if you don't verify your account you won't have access to these features and youtube would also ask you to provide your phone number for you to verify your account so just have that in mind that you provide your phone number now that we've got that out of the way i'm going to show you some tricks to help you stand out so you're going to go back to your youtube channel settings and then you're going to click on settings and then you're going to click on upload defaults now here's a crucial tip never set your videos to public never publish a video before or without writing a good description title and putting all the settings adding tags and all that or less you're just not going to get that much visibility all right so what i want to do is to set these up all right to set up your title your description and your visibility you can put it in public and um, before you publish just make sure that you have set all these in place for every video that you upload before publishing to the public speaking of thumbnails this is where a lot of creators make mistakes your title and thumbnails are the most important elements of your video they are like the packaging of your video if your video title and thumbnail doesn't grab attention or is not catchy people won't click simple as that so spend time on it if you have trouble getting something right just search for a similar video on youtube and you get ideas and here's a pro tip sometimes it's even better to create your thumbnail before starting to film your video so that you know exactly what type of video you're aiming for all type of thumbnail you're aiming for you have everything planned now you can add title here description here and tags notes anything you add under upload default would automatically show up anytime you upload a video it will just be there for you to edit and change before you publish the video set tags up advanced settings do the same thing right here okay now 
the next thing that you want to do is to click on channel right here here you can set your country of residence and then you can add keywords here now this would be your channel keywords not your video keywords so when people search for this for example if people search for folktale story as a keyword and it is added to these keywords your channel might likely come up so it's important to set keywords here just put a bunch of keywords that are related to the kind of videos that you upload on your channel to get good keywords you need to do this there are two tools that you can use to get keyword ideas so we have vidiq and keywords everywhere before you post a video use it to check which keywords people are searching for this would help increase the chances of your videos being found on youtube another key feature is the audio library click on audio library it's in youtube studio now this is where you can get access to tons of free music and sound effects for your videos no copyright claims if you use sounds from here so use this to add flavor to your videos without worrying about the legal stuff don't just pick any song from anywhere and add to your videos because there's high chance chance that the song is owned by someone else and YouTube will give you a copyright strike when you upload the video with that song so don't just pick off song from anywhere I like to use pixabay.com to get copyright free music but YouTube has given you their audio library so you can use your audio library or just come to pixabay.com slash music and use the music that they have here most of it are copyright free now moving on to another important feature how do you actually make money from YouTube well you need Need to reach certain milestones like certain number of subscribers and watch hours you can keep track of all of that in the end section right here you can see in here just click on the end section and got it here you see the required number of subscribers and watch hours you need to have so you can see here that you need 1000 subscribers 4000 watch hours or 10 million views to get your channel monetized all right it's not hard to do i've created a video showing you how to get your first 1000 subscribers fast and also how to get 4000 watch hours on youtube pretty fast you can check it out after watching this video i'll leave the link to the video in the description of this video and just like that you're ready to take your first step i know it feels like a lot but once you get that first video out there you realize that it's not that scary in fact six months from now you're gonna look at your video and be like you get that cringe <laughs> that cringe vibe right but it's a good thing it means you're improving okay if you haven't subscribed to this channel hit the subscribe button there are tons and tons of helpful videos in this channel like this video and drop questions in the comment section if you have any question i'll reply you okay now we have a culture in this channel to share any video we watch so share this video to someone that you love to your friend to your relative someone that i want to teach something okay people are out there that want to learn how to start something new and this is the opportunity to help someone add value to someone's life share this video and i'll see you in this video right here